square MATH has a side length of 7 inches. Which three-dimensional object will be formed by continuously rotating square MATH around side AT? So whenever you're drawing any quadrilateral, any triangle, the orientation of the vertices must either always be clockwise or counterclockwise. And it doesn't matter whether you draw it clockwise or counterclockwise. You just need to pick one and be consistent about it. So I'm going to draw mine in this manner. Clockwise rota uh, orientation, M-A-T-H. And uh, the side length is going to measure 7, it says, right? So this is 7. And it's a square, so all four sides are going to be the same. What happens when we rotate this square over side AT? So what's going to happen is, actually I want to draw this, giving myself a little more room here. So again, I have A, T, M, and H, right? And this is side length 7. If I were to rotate this, tri uh, this square over... Uh, about side AT, what's going to happen is I'm going to end up with a shape that looks like this. And I've said this many times in many of my videos, it definitely helps to enjoy art or enjoy drawing because it definitely helps with visualization and uh, visual thinking and problem solving. So you're going to end up with something that looks like this. Right? So what kind of shape is this? This is going to end up being a... It's a cylinder right? It's a cylinder with a height of, what's that length supposed to be? That's supposed to be 7. And what's the diameter supposed to be? The diameter is supposed to be 14, right? Or what's the radius, right? The radius is 7. So which description is this? This is a right cylinder with a radius of 7, right? It's a right cylinder with a diameter of 7. No, that doesn't make any sense. Is it a cone? No, it's not a cone. The only one that makes any sense is option 4.